สวัสดีค่ะท่านผู้มีเกียรติทุกท่านดิฉันยานที่ชาววุฒินานนท์ค่ะสวัสดียามบ่ายนะคะขอต้อนรับทุกท่านอีกครั้งกับงาน Bangkok International Digital Content Festival 2022หรือ BIDC 2022ค่ะซึ่งจัดต่อเนื่องกันเป็นปีที่9แล้วนะคะและงานนี้ค่ะเกิดจากความร่วมมือของภาครัฐและภาคเอกชนได้แก่กรมส่งเสริมการค้าระหว่างประเทศหรือ DITP กระทรวงพาณิชย์สำนักงานส่งเสริมการจัดประชุมและนิทรรศการองค์การมหาชนหรือ TCEP สำนักงานส่งเสริมเศรษฐกิจดิจิทัลหรือ DIPA สำนักงานส่งเสริมเศรษฐกิจสร้างสารรค์องค์การมหาชนหรือ CEA และ5สมาคมดิจิทัลคอนเทนต์ไทยนะคะนั่นก็คือสมาคม TGA b a z a r DCAT ELAT และสมาคมแท็กาค่ะสำหรับกิจกรรม BIDC เว็บมินาที่ทุกท่านได้เข้าร่วมอยู่นี้นะคะเริ่มตั้งแต่วันที่7ถึง22พฤษภาคมโดยมีหัวข้อสมนาออนไลน์รวมทั้งสิ้น19หัวข้อค่ะซึ่งในปีนี้เรามีหัวข้อเด็ดๆทั้ง Metaverse อวตาร NFT GameFi และ Blockchain ค่ะเรียกได้ว่าอยู่ในกระแสความสนใจของคนทั้งโลกเลยก็ว่าได้และทุกหัวข้อค่ะสามารถลงทะเบียนล่วงหน้าเพื่อร่วมสัมมนาได้ฟรีตาม QR Code นี่เลยค่ะจากช่วงเช้าค่ะเราว่ากันด้วยเรื่องของการออกแบบ Metaverse อย่างไรให้ถูกใจ User กันไปแล้วมาถึงช่วงบ่ายนี้ค่ะเรายังคงลงลึกกับหัวข้อ Metaverse กันต่อซึ่งจาก Metaverse ที่เปรียบเสมือนก้าวแรกของโลกเสมือนจริงและการก้าวเข้าไปสู่ Metaverse ว่าในวันนี้ค่ะอะไรคือความแตกต่างจากโลกเดิมและอะไรที่สามารถต่อยอดและพัฒนาต่อได้โดยที่ไม่ต้องเริ่มต้นจากศูนย์ดังนั้นวันนี้ค่ะ
เราจะมาพบคำตอบจากผู้เชี่ยวชาญตัวจริงนั่นก็คือดรโคจิมิคามิผู้บุกเบิกด้านเกม Education ในสาขา School of Media Science และผู้ก่อตั้ง Creative Lab ที่สถาบันคาตายานากิ Advanced Research Laboratories Tokyo University of Technologies ในหัวข้อ Metaverse vs Metaverse และเช่นกันค่ะในเซสชันนี้อาจารย์น้องหวานหรือคุณแกมการสุภาพบรรพจน์ผู้เชี่ยวชาญในแวดวงการศึกษาด้านดิจิทัลคอนเทนต์นะคะจะมาเป็นผู้ดำเนินรายการในช่วงนี้ค่ะขอเชิญอาจารย์น้องหวานอีกครั้งค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีทุกท่านนะคะก็สำหรับช่วงบ่ายในวันนี้นะคะตามที่ MC บอกไปแล้วนะคะหัวข้อก็คือ Meta World vs Metaverse นะคะหวานขออนุญาตนะคะเรียนเชิญนะคะอาจารย์ดรโคจิมิคามิเข้ามาเลยนะคะจะได้ไม่เป็นการเสียเวลาในวันนี้นะคะ Hello Mr. Koji I think your microphone is off still Hello Okay, so without further ado, I'll hand the mic over to you so we can start our session. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you hear my screen? Okay. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Koji Mikami from Tokyo University of Technology. Today, I'd like to talk about the theme of Meta World versus Metaverse, the gameplay environment and community as a Metaverse. So uh, today, uh, I prepare three sections for my talk. The first section is the uh, game world and the metaverse. Uh, I will compare uh, the game and the metaverse. And then I'd like to talk about the process, how game become metaverse. And then uh, I'd like to talk about the principle of play, principle of games, and uh, how to use this principle to the metaverse so uh after every session i will prepare some q a session so if you have some question please prepare uh for the uh chat line and also uh please uh yeah give me some comment and question okay so uh let's begin from my uh some short introduction I'm now working at the Tokyo University of Technology as a professor. My research area is uh, developing technology for 3D and 2D animation, and also game and interactive content, including uh, virtual reality and also augmented reality and so on. I'm working at the academic societies such as uh, ACMC Group, Adam Society, uh, IPSJ, the Japanese ICT Society, and uh, also DIGRA, Japanese Game Society, and also an animation society. And also, uh, I'm uh, working for the industry and the governmental activity of the professors. So SEDEC is very famous for the uh, Japanese uh, Game Developers Conference. And I'm a committee member from the academic area and also uh, some interactive demonstration area. And also, I'm a member of an association of Japanese animation and also a motion picture and TV engineering. And from a uh, university professor, I also belonging to many governmental projects for the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, and also a uh, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports Science and Technology, and also an uh, agency for culture and affair, culture affairs. Now I'm working in university, but uh, before my academic career, I used to work at the uh, media business department of international trading firm. And that company is now known as Sojitsu Corporation. And, but at that time, uh, that was named Nisho UI Corporation. And I was uh, working for the project called X-Band, uh, this is the uh, online distance gameplay system and services for Nintendo Entertainment System and Sega Genesis and Sega Saturn. And also, at that time, I'm working for the 3D Metaverse project, what we call World Chat. Uh, I will mention later, uh, this is the world first 3D Metaverse. This project was originally developed by the United States company, 
and uh, our companies started to get a license and start the services in Japan. After the, the experience of international trading firm, I moved to uh, uh, the game studio, game and animation studio named MK Company. I produce some PC games and also uh, I'm belonging to the project of the uh, digital animation and also 3D computer graphics. Then uh, I'm, I become a liaison between uh, university and uh, Japanese industry. Okay, so uh, that's my introduction. So uh, let's go to the section one, game world and metaverse. I think uh, you know well about the metaverse, but uh, please uh, let me explain the background of the metaverse. Metaverse is rapidly uh, gaining attention these days again, especially when Facebook changes their name to Meta and uh, remote work under COVID-19, uh, people's uh, conscious to the, these uh, new keywords. Do you know Second Life? If you know Second Life, please raise your hand. The webinar system, does it work? Okay, thank you. Uh, Second Life is a very famous uh, metaverse services that was uh, start from the middle of the 20s, but it is also making comeback. Uh, they said they have almost same accesses uh, from the from their peak, and uh, at that time there is a big wave for metaverse, and now the trend is coming back. But uh, there is a biggest difference between the previous boom. It is a breadth and spread of social network system, and also uh, game engine like Unity and Unreal Engine. And also VR environment like a head mount display or other devices, and also blockchain technology. The game has become an uh, environment and experience closer to the metaverse in the course of its evolution. For example, uh, in game improved quality of audio, visual, and also the user experience. And also, uh, game obtained the online technology, so uh, they could create an online community between users. And also, uh, some of the games have a function of character customization in that games, and also uh, some of the games permit to modification and also upload their modified game to the community. So uh, yeah, through these changes, the games believed as if that is a, a almost metaverse, but our games are really metaverse. And what is a metaverse? What is a between? What is the difference between games and the metaverse? It is very difficult. So uh, I'd like to uh, explain the brief history of a uh, phase of development in metaverse. The first phase is a take space virtual world in late 17s, and then the graphical interface and the commercial application start from 80s. And user-created content, 3D graphics, open-ended socialization, integrated audio is realized in 1919s. And the fourth phase is a uh, and the fifth phase is the biggest phase, the major expansion in commercial virtual world user bases, enhanced content creation tools, increased institutional presence, development of robust virtual economy, improvements in graphical fidelity. And uh, this is happening in a post millennial decade. And now, uh, uh, open decentralized development uh, start from uh, and continue to the present. And uh, yeah, 
this is uh, the report at the SEM computers uh, survey. So please uh, take a look uh, from uh, this manuscript. Okay, the, let me see the first phase. The first phase is the right 17th, the text based virtual world. Uh, what we call MAT or uh, March user dungeons are very famous. And I sometimes play Dungeon and Dragons with my students because uh, yeah, this is a very good case for the game education. And also uh, another trial called Mashes, March user shared hallucinations also happened during 1970s. This a uh, less defined exploratory spaces educators experimented with the possibility of collaborative cr creations. And next, second phase in 1980s. At that time, uh, I collaborated with this who did two company. So uh, I know uh, about this content. Uh, in 1980s, Graphical interface and the commercial applications are realized. The habitat for Commodore 64 and Fujitsu platform. This habitat is based on the uh, PC network and uh, many people using text chat with uh, 2D graphics. So this is a screenshot of the Habitat 2 uh, from the Fujitsu company. And at the third phase, uh, we can prepare user-created content and also uh, have a capability of 3D graphics and uh, open-ended socialization. And uh, this is a screenshot from the uh, world chat. And uh, yes, I studied uh, uh, services in Japan for world chat. At that time, the, the internet was not so... Uh, in our first, so it is very difficult to prepare uh, entire 3D. So the 3D model is uh, quite simple, but uh, yeah, player can walk around the 3D worlds and uh, talk each other using text chat. And also uh, there are some sounds and the music there. If Fourth phase and fifth phase, uh, major expansion is getting uh, realized. And uh, yes, the second life is one of the uh, uh, big torrent of this uh, decade. And the second life is now uh, getting a, uh, become a big wave again. Okay. So and uh, currently, I think uh, that these services are very famous, so most of you know, and uh, there is a uh, services like uh, Metaverse. And Metaverse is hard to define correctly, but uh, yeah, I pick up some of the uh, services and blockchain game and uh, another games here. As a so-called communication services, Meta Horizon workspaces and uh, Microsoft start a mesh for team and the uh, reality for uh, reality for virtual YouTuber and VR chat for the chatting services and cluster and also the second life with the uh, metaverse services. And uh, on the other hand, the blockchain games also have become uh, recently. So uh, Axie Infinity, Decent Run, Roblox and the Sandbox is a, a very famous blockchain game. And these game services also called uh, the Metaverse. And uh, that is a game, but uh, sometimes are said to be Metaverse is Fortnite by Epic Games and Animal Crossing Nintendo. As I said, uh, I told it is difficult to define what metaverse is, but I'd like to use definition by Matthew Ball of uh, Megafront. So he indicated uh, seven definition of metaverse. The first one is uh, be 
persistent. Okay. So the uh, what is to say it never reset or pause or end. It just continue identi identifiably. And the uh, second one is a uh, be synchronous and ripe. It's a mean entirely real times. And the third one is a uh, without any limitation to concurrent users, while also providing each users with an individual sense of presence. That means the user is not unlimited and the uh, real bus is limited for the space and also the capacity, but the uh, uh, metaverse is unlimited. And in metaverse, uh, be a fully functioning economy. And fifth one, uh, be an experience that spans both digital and physical worlds, private and public, and network experience, and open the cross platform. That means the double sided. And uh, next one, the opera unprecedented interoperability. So this is one is the interoperability. And last one is the, the populated by content and experience created and operated by an incredibly wide range of contributors from individuals and also the company, government, and so on. Uh, this is the keyword uh, called the commonality. This seven uh, definition is uh, one of the definition of metaverse. And I use this seven uh, definition uh, for, this, uh, for this talk. So uh, the question is current game, what we call meta world is really metaverse or not? For example, uh, please check this seven identification, there are seven points. For example, is the game persistent? Yeah, I think uh, the game often persistent. Uh, most of the online mode is a persistent. Uh, standalone mode is, uh, yeah, you can easily do yeah, reset or pause and something like that. But if you join online mode, you cannot stop reset or pause. And second one, the real time. I think the most of online mode is uh, later have a real time capability. So the, yeah, this is also uh, a mainstream of games. The uh, third one, Unlimited. I think uh, it's often unlimited, but uh, it sometimes depends on uh, server capability. Uh, for example, uh, if this server has a limitation of the number of uh, number of uh, users, uh, maybe you have to wait for minutes. So it's not perfectly unlimited, but uh, mostly unlimited. And uh, how about economy? I think the blockchain game is uh, now uh, becoming a wonderful torrent, but uh, most of the game doesn't use this blockchain. So some of the games using the uh, points or in-game currency, sometimes uh, uh, refundable to uh, real money. But uh, I think this economy is almost seldom for uh, current games. And Double sided, uh, yeah. Most of the game can change online mode and offline mode, and sometimes uh, public or uh, private mode, even though those are uh, online. And next one is interoperability. I think this is uh, quite difficult things. The game data and also game our tools, uh, game specific data. And also, uh, Avatar can use within the some uh, the, in the same services, but uh, uh, the appearance of the avatar or character is sometimes uh, limited to the the original games. And the last one is commonality. I, I think uh, it's seldom uh, adapted in the game. Uh, some games uh, have a creative mode, so player can develop their own scenes or stages. And also, uh, there is a, some culture of modification. 
But uh, most of the game was developed by a game studio. The most of the asset uh, game levels, uh, game engine, and game system are developed by a studio. So the commonality is uh, quite limited. So uh, I'd like to conclude the first uh, section. So games offer a meta world with some of the feature of metaverse, but uh, economy is just beginning to be realized by blockchain games. And interoperability is a major challenge for the future of metaverse, not only for games. Uh, most of the game is uh, depends on the each titles. And commonality is a I think it's a very big dilemma because uh, ba well balanced level of game developers versus freedom of creation on the user side is always uh, yeah uh, leads a uh, lot of discussion. Okay, so uh, this is a conclusion of this section. And uh, before I go to the next topic, uh, in my opinion, for the metaverse. The inducement power of game is quite attractive. For example, a Fortnite. Uh, according to the website, uh, they have now uh, 350 million accounts. And Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah, it is a consumer-based game, so users have to purchase the game title first. But they have already. Uh, 38.6 million sales worldwide. On the, uh, on the other hand, uh, Metaverse Services, the second drive, that is uh, uh, one of the biggest uh, Metaverse Services, the last movement. And now they come back almost the same amount of the users. So they said uh, 30,000 access per day. And also VR chat. 29,000 access per day, and Horizon World, uh, yeah, 10,000, Cluster, 8,000. Uh, Roblox is uh, quite different. Uh, yeah, they have a huge access, uh, 55 million active users per day. So, but uh, anyway, so for the metaverse, the inducement power of games is quite attractive. So uh, they want to. Uh, at many people uh, using the power of games. Yeah. Uh, okay. That will conclude my uh, talk for the section one. Is there any question or comments? Okay. If anyone has Thank you for coming. Uh, Thank you very much for the the comments. Yes. Uh, the sadly, Axie has been hacked. All blockchain games are uh, uh, banned from Steam. Yeah, that's right. So the blockchain game is, for for example, in Japan, uh, uh, some of the uh, game organization uh, taking care for the blockchain game, and uh, we are very very uh, suspicious about the state of. Uh, uh, like be a blockchain game, so maybe major game company does not start. Uh, yeah, uh, it's very difficult to start uh, business for blockchain games. So the uh, CESA, like one of the game industry, uh, provides some guideline for blockchain game, and uh, they will always uh, checking the uh, yeah some of the problem of the blockchain and. Uh, they will uh, yeah, guide it to the uh, game industry in Japan. And other comments? Yes, he says that's right. Final Fantasy XIV, that's right. Okay, is there any question or comments? Um, I think there's no comments so far. After Kun Gan, would you like to continue with the session? Okay. So uh, let me go to uh, another topics. 
So next by the, the process of becoming metaverse. So the the game originally is a uh, uh, with low technology. So but now the game becoming a, a like a metaverse. So what is the process uh, becoming metaverse? So uh, I would like to analyze from the uh, perspective of changes in the way way we play. Uh, there is no meta world element in the traditional plays and games of early days. How the game have ch how they changed with the transition of game hardware and software. So I'd like to discuss based on uh, three elements: the first by the space, the second by the time, the third one player. So the first slide, uh, uh, so uh, this is uh, when I uh, express space in Japanese, uh, this is a Japanese figure. And when I explain time, this is the Japanese letter. And when I express human, this is the Japanese letter. So all of the Japanese words include yeah, this letter. This means in between. So the in between space and space, in between time and time, in between human and human is a, uh, so the, yeah, these three elements are quite interesting to analyze the changes of the games. For example, uh, the please imagine the traditional play like hide and seek, tag, Red, right, green light, or uh, some card game, and so on. At that time, the people have to play at the day when they play outdoor. And sometimes uh, we can play night indoors. But we have to share the time at the same place. So space must be also shared. And uh, we require some spaces. And uh, this species uh, uh, depends on prey. So, for example, this is a traditional prey of Indonesia. And uh, yes, there is uh, uh, many people there. And uh, we require some spaces using uh, creating some circles. And uh, also, uh, in this case, uh, the prayer is also gathered in the same place. So play also shared and the person to person or team to team kind of a matchup. So in this case, the seven element of metaboss is there is uh, yeah, it's only two. The first one is a uh, real time. The uh, people uh, must uh, will gather real time, and uh, but uh, for example, it's not persistent. Uh, we can quit anytime they want. And also uh, important is the uh, interoperability. Uh, the player is human itself. So player can, uh, if they can understand the next rule, they can join another play uh, with their own body. So the, in my opinion, the interoperability is, uh, yeah, performed at the traditional play. And early days of video games, so for example, Tennis for Two or Pong or uh, other video games. At that time, uh, most of the games are person-to-person -person matchup, no AI. And uh, so the time must be shared. So anytime we can play, but uh, yeah, if permitted, because uh, sometimes parents doesn't permit playing game in the midnight, so anytime, but if permitted. And the space also uh, shared because the two player are required so that we can uh, play at a small space, but uh, require electricity and also some equipment. And at that time, uh, the element of beta bus is performed only real time. The other thing is uh, not performed. So the early video game is 
far from metaverse. And uh, please uh, think about the standalone base game. The, in the present, there is a lot of standalone types of games. So from early consumer to the present uh, PlayStation 5, you still have a uh, standalone mode. In that case, the time is also separated because uh, player can play in a, uh, in against the AI enemies or uh, play to uh, create the story. So the time is separated. We do not create uh, require uh, almost there is some uh, player versus player games, but uh, most games are separated. So anytime if permitted, we can play with uh, computers. And space is also separated, almost same. And player, uh, enemy movement, uh, according to mechanical algorithm, sometimes uh, that is uh, far from AI. So early consumer games are uh, very uh, low specs, so there is only a few AI there. And now uh, the AI character instead of human, so uh, recent AI technology helps us to uh, have a, a high quality prey. But uh, when I talk about metaverse, uh, yeah, the game was real time, but the other aspects are not performed yet. Game getting the uh, possibility of metaverse uh, when they obtain the network uh, for the consumer online or PC online and smartphone games. For example, time. The time sometimes shared and sometimes separated. So player can play anytime if permitted, but uh, sometimes the player share only user data and result. For example, the, some of the smartphone game, uh, my friend uses uh, uh, my avatar as a company of the quest, and then my character can, my avatar can get uh, uh, some items after the, as a result of the uh, quest. So uh, yeah, I don't, don't spend any time but uh, uh, yeah, I collaborate with my friend. Unfortunately, uh, I obtain some items. So the, we can share the time and the, we do not uh, need to share time. And also spaces. Space is also shared and not uh, shared. Uh, if we play the game, uh, we need a, a network uh, in addition to the electricity and equipment we have to prepare some networks. And also uh, we have to share some spaces like an online server. And uh, sometimes we have to prepare the physical space for uh, XR. Uh, sometimes it is a real world, a very huge real world like a Pokemon Go or uh, yeah, another uh, GPS based games. And also the human, it's uh, the cooperation of our battle with friend uh, or summer. So we have to share uh, the human. So uh, when we talk about recent game with network, uh, the online game is a persistent and also that it's real time, sometimes not real time. And uh, the ones are almost unlimited and sometimes uh, it, it has an economy aspects and double sided online and offline. And uh, also, the, there has a commonality or a recent uh, creative modes. So, when what time this paradigm it has uh, occurring? For example, the real time capability is uh, original. Uh, characteristic of digital games. And uh, for example, persistentness. 
It is uh, almost start from the uh, internet capability and also the development of MMORPG. So it's early, um, uh, well, sorry, it's the uh, 1990s. And uh, number three, unlimited. And number five, double-sided. And seven, commonality is performed middle of 20th centuries. A middle of 21 centuries. For example, uh, unlimited or uh, supported by a cloud technology. Because uh, uh, thanks to the cloud technology, the server is uh, scalable. So we can easily uh, scale out uh, the user. So uh, yes, the cloud technology helps uh, yeah, this a limited element. And next one, double-sided is, uh, for example, the virtual and layers. So if we if we play virtual and layer side, uh, the XR technology, uh, which is uh, expand in middle of 20, uh, 2010s, uh, help to uh, realize uh, this function and also social network system is also a uh, social network services also help uh, yeah, these things. And uh, next one, the commonality. The commonality is also uh, supported by a social network services and also uh, user generated content torrent and also uh, thanks to the, the game engine capability. And uh, lastly, the blockchain uh, the economy. The blockchain uh, helps uh, to realize the economy in the games. And uh, yeah, it's still difficult for the interoperability. Sometimes uh, cloud technology helps interoperability for the uh, PC account or something like that. But uh, it is still difficult uh, to uh, yeah, perform the quality for the interoperability. So uh, next, uh, the conclusion. So games have fulfilled the requirements of the metaverse over the course of evolution. And the uh, current online game function similarly to the metaverse. And future challenges are uh, basically the same as in the metaverse. So especially interoperability is one of the uh, quite difficult uh, challenges for the metaverse and games. Okay, uh, yeah, I'd like to conclude this session. Is there any question? Yeah, uh, we have one question uh, for you. In your opinion, for non-digital content companies like mm -hmm. consumer product companies that mm -hmm. want to explore and use the metaverse to expand their business, since this is a very early stages of the metaverse, do you recommend to enter at this time or wait for a period to invest to start mm -hmm. investing in the metaverse when it's much more um, developed? Very nice question. <laughs> I, I'm not a a business consultant of the metaverse, but uh, uh, from my opinion, uh, finally uh, in the metaverse, the people will uh, want the high quality things. For example, recently uh, there is a few services. So if players find something, player will uh, go to the spaces and and try something. But after the, the metaverse uh, getting more familiar, the people understand the, and also people care for the quality. So the, if the non-digital services or products are uh, enough to purchase uh, without metaverse, maybe people will purchase it in metaverse. If uh, you come to the Metaverse market later, because uh, uh, yes, that, that's my opinion. The people, uh, the metaverse is kind of the spaces and services, 
But if the product is uh, uh, not good enough, people never uh, purchase. That is an economy. So mm. yeah, if you have a, a things which is quite nice, even people uh, go to purchase at the real, uh, yeah, uh, real market or sometimes uh, purchase it using uh, uh, yeah, metro or train or buses. That will be co- quite nice. So uh, yeah, in my opinion, the, it is uh, uh, quite early times for the metaverse. So uh, non-digital customer should uh, watch for a while. And uh, once the market uh, start, maybe you have a chance. That's my opinion. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a couple of comments again from 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 our viewers on um, the technology and the gaming industry. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have one as well, um, to be honest, um, because when we talk about the meta uh, meta world and all the examples that you have given us, um, all these uh, games, game spaces are very developed in styles, artistic senses, technology, mm-hmm. and realistic um, design. Uh, but in the metaverse, the one that we see today are still not developed, even though mm-hmm. we're stealing the technology from the game system. Why do you think that is <laughs> the case? Yes, that is a very nice question. And uh, yeah, it's quite uh, difficult to answer it. And uh, but uh, as you know, uh, recent metaverse is uh, rapidly expanding. But hmm. the, the game itself is uh, created by a very early adapter. So sometimes the game is uh, uh, interesting, but it's not uh, quite different from the uh, games by the uh, Nintendo or a Sony or a at a huge company. So mm. if you player want to play a high quality games, the metaverse is uh, not a good place for playing games. But if player look for some indie games or uh, something quite new, that is a sometimes fascinating area. So uh, yeah, it depends on what kind of experience you really want. So yeah, for game developers, so it is not a time to uh, provide high quality game to mm-hmm. the metaverse platform. Uh, if uh, they could the same thing uh, on their own server, it would be nice. But uh, if you if there is some limitation, the most of the game studio does not go to the uh, yeah metaverse. In my opinion. But mm-hmm. they always are uh, watching how Metaverse uh, improved the environment. So most of the company that che- uh, also seeking the opportunity to join Metaverse, but not yet. Mm. Mm. I think ideally in an ideal world, um, wouldn't it be more interesting if we all join in one simple, single mm-hmm. Uh, metaverse, but mm-hmm. seems like right now everyone is exploring their own context and their own mm-hmm. definition of the metaverse. Um, how do you think that will play out when really, if you're going to have a successful one, you require a number of people inside one mm-hmm. single metaverse? Otherwise, all these platforms being created would just kind of um, slowly disappear because there's no user at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that is a very nice, uh, yeah, opportunity in the world. Mm. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, it will be one of the, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, one of the, uh, the best cases. So there is a one uh, portal, there are one portal, that's a metaverse. And then, uh, this, for example, the, the the blockchain and other uh, securities are strongly supported by the huge portal site and we can easily exchange to each game 
area and also any types of content, that'll be the better. But uh, uh, I think it takes too long times. So the, I think the blockchain sometimes uh, takes this role, I hope. So the each metaverse service is uh, uh, separated, but it's uh, operated using the blockchain. So once uh, we use uh, one of the blockchain, the in the other blockchain, uh, my account also secured, and this is uh, interoperability. <laughs> so uh, mm -hmm. yes, if it uh, realizes the metaverse is uh, yeah becoming more popular for the people, in my opinion, it is sometimes uh, too confused. So sometimes people uh, afraid to join the uh, metaverse because uh, uh, each company is a, a very small company or venture. But uh, now the Microsoft and Meta joining mm. this market, maybe the user of these services can easily join these metaverse and then they will use the services provided by Meta or Microsoft. Mm. Then, uh, yeah, they will start to join metaverse and uh, if these companies uh, supported some security of other metaverse that will be uh, easy for the most of the people to join metaverse mm. i have recently read as well that meta just released um, their their news about how much they're going to charge creators um, and I think it's around um, 47 percent. Mm -hmm. So that is a very high number for providing the service. Um, definitely, they must have something up their sleeves. Um, so I'm going to ask one last question before we continue to the next section. Um, the last question is asked, if you happen to know at all, is, is blockchain environment friendly? Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm not a specialist of the blockchain game, uh, blockchain, but uh, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, the, the game, Japanese traditional game industry, uh, not uh, like blockchain technology, in my opinion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's always depend on uh, the the security issues and uh, maybe uh, some services are uh, uh, secured by, uh, I'm not sure, but, but uh, in this case, uh, yes, for traditional stakes folder, it's difficult to uh, try the uh, new technology, even though, uh, because uh, they have already obtained a, uh, uh, strong power in existing uh, game industry, but uh, yeah, if the environment is good enough, maybe mm. they will join. So I'm not sure, but uh, if, for example, Meta or Microsoft or uh, Sony provided uh, a platform for Metaverse using some stable blockchain, the game studio will uh, enter this market. Mm. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, yeah, they uh, want, uh, yes, they have a suspicion for the technology and also the management. It's my opinion. Mm. I, I, I certainly personally feel like um, it's not <laughs> as long mm -hmm. as... It's in technology world, obviously, um, with crypto and mining and all that, that has not put um, anything good towards the environmental friendly side. Um, but yes, uh, we shall continue with your sections um, and then we'll resume mm -hmm. with the questions again. If anyone have questions along the way, please feel free to ask us in the chat box. Okay, so the this south section is the, the principle of prey and metaverse. 
So as I mentioned uh, for the QS session, uh, when uh, the metaverse is kind of a platform, uh, sometimes communicate, sometimes play, and sometimes bring game and so on. So the finally, the most important thing, can we provide a game which is suitable for metaverse? And uh, some of the Japanese, I uh, don't know, some of the games has already become like a metaverse. That's why uh, these games are quite fun and capability for network or uh, capability for communicating each other is fun than playing standalone. So in order to, uh, uh, pre, uh, in order to provide uh, good content for the metaverse and the metaverse games, we have to understand the principle of games and we have to customize them uh, to suit for the metaverse. So uh, discussion is, the game function is similarly to the metaverse and future challenges are basically the same as the metaverse. So how to get people to come to the metaverse like a game? How games keep and extend the essence of play? That is a uh, next topic. So before, uh, before I start this topic, what is game? What is game? It is sometimes very difficult to define exactly so game has already expanded many types and genres. So it's very difficult. What is games? But in other words, game is nearly equal play. So traditional play is sometimes the uh, same as game. So and the many famous game design researchers believe this and uh, uh, uses references for their uh, dissertations. So the, what play? What is play? The fundamental thought of Johann Hoisinger and Roger Kaior is uh, sometimes used as a references. So the uh, human, human being is a uh, racist who plays. So uh, yeah, from this point of view, uh, these researchers uh, classified play that means classify the game. So I'd like to talk about uh, this fundamental of play instead of fundamental of games. So, uh, and uh, Roger's six feature of plays are suitable for typical video game, especially standalone. But metaverse is related to the area that have been left out of the six feature due to changes in technology surrounding the games. So let me see these uh, six okay, features. Well, the first one is uh, it is free or not obligatory. So uh, people can play anytime they want and uh, it, they just play they want. The second one is uh, separated uh, from the routine life. So uh, this one is a, a little different from the uh, metaverse things. And third one, it's uncertain. Uh, so, so that the result of play cannot be predetermined and so that the player's initia initiative is involved. So that means the result is not uncertain. I think the metaverse and also game uh, still uncertain, so it's okay. And the uh, first one, it's productive in that it creates no wares and ends as it begins. What we call the unproductive. I think this one is uh, quite different with the metaverse because the metaverse have a economy. So, uh, now the metaverse must be productive. So this one is quite different. And the fifth one, it's governed by rules that surrounded ordinary laws and behavior, and that must be followed by players. 
So that means uh, governed by games or plays. Uh, yeah, these things are mainly uh, suitable for game, but for the uh, metaverse, uh, metaverse have uh, the aspect of layers. In the in real cases, we have to follow the existing government or existing law. So yes, this number five is a quite limited situation for the play and the games. And last one, so it involves make believe that confirm for players the existence of imagined realities that may be set against real life. So what we call uh, fictional features. Yeah, this one also uh, a little different. Traditional video game and start standalone current video game, but uh, it's quite different uh, with the metaverse definition. Okay, so I'd like to uh, go for example the yes free the play is not uh, compared. But uh, in metaverse, the player must be compared because the uh, player suddenly uh, could not suddenly stop the game. And uh, if once they start the game, they couldn't uh, hide from the game. And also, next one is separated. Uh, and not separated, always uh, real time is uh, real spaces uh, coming. And okay, let's go for next. Totally. Yeah, this one is the best uh, solution. So uh, now most of the games and the metaverse is not already free. The online worlds were strictly organized and uh, relation uh, with real worlds place and timeline. Sometimes there are some events there. So the game time span is not only game time span, but sometimes real time spans. And also uh, not separated. There is a, the, for example, there is a global positioning system. And uh, sometimes game uses this system for uh, AR like Pokemon Go or Ingress or other types of games. And uh, the productive activity has already changed by the blockchain. And also there is an eSports. The most of the players uh, play to get a uh, prize and also the fair. And also there is uh, some uh, real monitoring for the game items. And uh, there is a, a the rules uh, will be adapted to the gameplay. For, for example, AR games or GPS-based games. And not fictional, AR and then M VR, AR and MR, and also the duality. Okay, so the, for example, the traditional game has these six uh, features. But once we install some games to the metaverse, the metaverse always not free and not separated and must be sometimes productive. But it uh, includes some discussion because the metaverse itself must be a productive activity, but uh, game itself is uh, sometimes just fun. So uh, yeah, this is uh, rooms for discussion. And not governed, yes, uh, the metaverse is a kind of a real activity. So uh, once player have some violation, that would be, that means players sometimes it's banned from the metaverse. And uh, when we play, uh, when we prepare the game for the metaverse, the games have the, the fictional side and also a realistic side. And uh, Roger Kaiwa also 
uh, preparing the another sync of uh, survey for the game. So according to his research, there is a uh, four elements in play. So uh, for enjoy enjoying coincident result or some lottery. And third one is a mimicry. That is a kind of a uh, imitate something. So that means plays a role for uh, game player or game Character and last one is that it links uh, dizziness. Now, uh, yeah, this element is uh, feeling uh, the movement like a uh, skiing or car racing and so on. So let me explain the uh, how this element contained in the game. Okay, now you can see the just the two circle and two arrows. So two balls like moving left side to right side. It is not a game, just moving. But once we add, I add two lines, start and go. That means I add agon for this, for this activity. So if there is a start line and go line, this becomes a agon, the struggle. The which one is faster than the other. And if I add some meteorite or mines here, so if the player run it's much faster than player two, but there are something uh, accident over there attacking the meteorite or sometimes uh, your foot on the mine. So the, the player much uh, slower character sometimes wins. That is a layer. And next one, if the, this ball become uh, another character, for example, this is a snowball. If the character is snowball, uh, move faster is sometimes melting their body. So uh, the character must move slowly or sometimes using hide from the sunshine and so on. So prayer uh, will act as if they are snowball. And final, it links. The it links is a kind of a sense uh, it links. And Roger uh, classified these, uh, er uh, these elements from Pioneer to Buddhist. So Pidea is a quite primitive element of Argon, Aria, and the Mimikuri, and the Lynx. And Rudus is quite a competitive run. For example, the Argon, please look at the Argon area. For example, the very simple conflict for the children and children, a child and child, and uh, sometimes uh, racket and lags, and another uh, traditional play is the quite uh, primitive agon. And, uh, but uh, for example, the soccer and baseball and basketball and shogi and chess, goal is a, it's also the struggle, but uh, it's quite competitive. So uh, there is a level of the fun element. And agon and aria is uh, quite uh, suitable for uh, game taste. And for, in, on the other hand, mimicry and the links is sometimes uh, suitable for the metaverse experience. For example, the mimicry the play a lot of its uh, character. That means play uh, become another avatar and walk around the uh, metaverse is quite familiar with the metaverse. And it links is also uh, the metaverse always seeking for the real verse and the meta world. So uh, yeah, I think uh, this agon and area is uh, necessary for game taste ex uh, experience. And maybe Korean links 
is quite important for the metaverse taste. And recently, uh, these four elements are well combined in one game, so people uh, enjoy the struggle and uh, coincident effect, and also player enjoy the like a metaverse role. So that's why the people said uh, Fortnite or uh, Animal Crossing is almost metaverse because uh, these games always having the, some mimicries and also uh, sometimes uh, first person games, uh, including e links. Okay. And there are less agon in the Animal Crossing. So the final uh, conclusion and discussion. So online gaming is continually developing and there is an environment in which new content is being created. Will the metaverse continue to attract attention? For game players, it's better to use meta world than stay standalone. So and game designer and developer extended game experience using new technology. For metaverse users, are the activity there better than before? For example, uh, shopping in the metaverse is much better than shopping in real world. But this uh, or communication in the metaverse is better than SNS or a techie space or over the phone. If people believe so, maybe people will go to metaverse. So the key point is whether metaverse developer can provide such technology and services. So finally, uh, which will be the major trend? Even though the definition of the metaverse is uh, nowhere near settled, will gaming become a platform for metaverse services? Or uh, will they be incorporated as content for one of the services in the metaverse? Or just separated? I'm not sure in the future, but uh, I can imagine the chaos some online games have a function of a metaverse and collaborate as a metaverse or sometimes other, other online games. And some metaverse uh, obtain some online games. And this game sometimes connected with another online games. And sometimes using this connection, metaverse and the metaverse will be connected. So the, uh, I think this is almost the same situation of SNS and games in recent situation. So in my opinion, uh, yes, online games and the metaverse is sometimes same, sometimes different, sometimes involved, sometimes be uh, yeah, involved. So uh, yes, still uh, this chaos situation will be continue for I'm not sure what two or three hour, uh, two or three years, but after that, uh, they will connect more each other. Finally, the interoperability will realize, and uh, maybe the these metaverse getting bigger and bigger. So finally, the people never uh, care what metaverse they are belonging to. The metaverse is almost uh, different. There is many types of metaverse, but people just play uh, as if they are one metaverse or uh, they never count how many metaverse. Thanks. So if you have any question and uh, if you have any idea or uh, some prediction, I it's quite uh, welcome. And I'm happy to hear uh, you are opinion. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Kochi. Um, I, I wanted to know what do you think um, on your on your part, 
um, in terms of like all these definitions that you 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 suggested? Which direction do you personally think we should head for it to be the best possible ideal world? Okay, so in my opinion, the the game itself uh, have us a lot of things to do now. For example, uh, yes, uh, the problem for the human health and also a problem for the uh, care for the younger generation. Uh, for example, uh, some smartphone games, the younger generation spent too many money to some uh, to purchase some items or sometimes they spend too many hours to the game. So the game company has uh, seen, has many things uh, to do for their own games. So uh, yeah, so game company should concentrate on the these things. And uh, as I mentioned, Metaverse is a platform. So the platform, if the platform getting stable, uh, the yeah, game company can join the platform. So even if the, the content is poor, the platform is good enough, the service will be uh, disappeared. So the, if the metaverse getting stable, they will require high quality of games. In that case, uh, the yeah, game company can provide uh, the game features enough quality. And uh, especially the blockchain, uh, no, no, especially the metaverse includes some economic function. So the, the gaming company and the other company pay attention to the uh, yeah, this kind of uh, le- legal uh, yeah, activities. So uh, yeah, we have to uh, prepare a lot, but if the game company want to be a platformer like Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft, I think it's a chance to become a platform. So in my opinion, Bandai Namco uh, Mm. uh, try to start the Metaverse services for each titles. So I think Bandai Namco, uh, yes, uh, make choice to become a platformer in Metaverse. And so, uh, yeah, I think there are some company uh, who want to become a platformer for the uh, yeah metaverse. But uh, yeah, for most of the game developer, it is uh, sometimes uh, the metaverse is uh, not a target for this developer. But metaverse is a platform they will use. That's my opinion. Mm, mm, thank you. Um, so uh, there's a couple of questions here, but they are very similar mm-hmm. in, in terms of the concept. Uh, I just want to ask a little bit more because what we've been discussing so far is in the gaming industry, in the ent- mm-hmm. entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. Um, the next few questions ask about the importance of the metaverse in the education okay. sector. Um, is it going to be a major platform for online learning? What are your experience or your, your comments um, on, on this? Yes, uh, in my opinion, uh, yes, I think so. Yes, uh, education, uh, the metaverse is uh, kind of a very nice uh, education platform, mm. especially that it has a uh, uh, virtual reality capability. So, for example, the in Japan, uh, there is some area which is uh, where is there is almost no children. <laughs> so in that area, uh, if uh, uh, they want to get, uh, go, if they want to go to elementary school, they have to spend more than one or two hours just go to uh, elementary school, and. Uh, in that case, uh, uh, it's easy to uh, get education from the metaverse, and the metaverse sometimes gives uh, authorization uh, using the blockchain technology. 
So, yeah, once one teacher just teaching one student is、uh, not good enough. So, you think that Uh, meta- if the metaverse uh, getting uh, uh, better, maybe the recommended lecture will be secured by the, for example, the government or some university or something like that. So the people easily、uh, pick up from the uh, lecture uh, using, uh, using some、uh, rating system or something like that. And、uh, mm. yes, sometimes this、uh, rating system is、uh, uh, edited by somebody, but、uh, yeah, Metaverse may be secure、uh, this ranking or、uh, yeah, evaluation. So,、mm. in my opinion, the education is a、uh, yeah, the Metaverse is a quite、uh, important for the yes, online education for the. Future of、uh, yeah, many countries.、Mm. I feel like for sure、um, the online learning platform will be a big, big thing for, for future、mm-hmm. generations in terms of education. But from my past experience and mine alone, I'm not sure if it's applied to you through COVID,、um, teaching online has been difficult because at the end of the day,、um, it becomes almost borderline teaching via、um, video recording.、Mm-hmm. Instead of just、um, being more interactive as what、um, mm-hmm. Metaverse should be.、Um, that's, that's, that's my personal experience on that part.、Mm-hmm. Um, we have, a, well, not so, so much a question,、um, but、uh, a comment on, on in terms of problems in school, students with problems、um, that、um, have caused、um, hiki, hikikomiro.、Mm-hmm. Uh, hikikomori. Yeah, hikomori.、Mm-hmm. Hikikomori. Okay. Yes, yes, yes.、Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but that is in, in, in the comments、um, below.、Um, they, they suggest, well, well, he suggested that this might be a good、um, opportunity to, to actually fix problems like that in school、mm-hmm. and, and also you know, help students learn better as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very nice idea. And、uh, Yes, the most important thing is uh, yes, uh, recent uh, virtual reality technology and uh, uh, some uh, online, uh, online conference system support to uh, uh, online class. But most important thing is、uh, not these types of online class.、Uh, as you mentioned, the, the experience is quite important. So,、mm-hmm. if, if the younger generation just w a t c h the video, it's not education. So,、uh, I want them to try and play a lot of、uh, things in the environment. So, I hope、uh, using block,、uh, metaverse technology, the children can experience, for example,、uh, some physical、uh, creation. And also, the, not only creation, but also the feedback and, educa-、uh, feedback and evaluation by the professionals.、So、I think,、uh, yeah, using AI and also other technology,、uh, the metaverse helps、uh, yeah, reality. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, coming back to the questions,、um, one more question that I have. Do you think that?、Um, Because right now, with the metaverse and the meta world, or,、mm-hmm. or the meta world itself, we are accessing it through a,、um, a hardware. So、mm-hmm. we play games on PC, consoles, and phones.、Mm-hmm. The invention of phone in itself is also a gadget, right? We, we're trying to access a new world through, through these gadgets. Do you think that in the future, the way that it has been developing, that、um, the We're just going to have another gadget、mm-hmm. to access this metaverse. Or do you think it's going to be more of they're going to try to reassess everything and how we're living our life? It should be accessing from the same point of entrance, like, for example, a phone or a computer. Because right now, with the development that's been going on, I feel、mm-hmm. like it's being accessed through、um, just the computer. But on another hand, you're seeing people developing things、um, or developing hardware to try to access 
um, this 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 meta world uh, metaverse as we as we are trying to? What do you think it would be more towards? Oh, that's very interesting. And uh, yes, uh, in my opinion, the the wearable device is is a uh, uh, yeah most uh, the best candidate of the metaverse. Uh, yes, the phone is one of the uh, wearable devices, but uh, uh, when I use a, a smartphone, uh, we have to uh, operate using the touch panels. Hmm. So maybe the uh, the best devices for the metaverse is the uh, the wearable devices. Uh, the size is almost same as a smartphone or uh, hmm. more smaller, and uh, the some gesture interfaces using the hand or some voice mm. and uh, display uh, with the glasses or mm. sometimes in the air. Mm. That'll be the best environment for the yeah the metaverse. So uh, yeah, it is uh, under <laughs> researches. So, but uh, some of the uh, yeah gesture technologies are getting realized. And uh, yeah, some of the uh, grass-based display are also uh, yeah, realized. So yeah, I hope the using very small size of the computer uh, wearing uh, wearing as a smartphone, and then uh, yes, where the the display the glasses and this change uh, yes interaction. And uh, if possible, uh, the computer is sometimes uh, require the uh, uh, high mass in power. In that case, the the cities provide a cloud technology and just send the result to the smartphone is better. So uh, yeah, all the city is connected to the uh, cloud server and mm-hmm. calculate everything. And just send using 5G uh, as a result. That is one of the uh, dream for the future. Mm-mm. Definitely. Um, I think we have one question, and mm-hmm. this would be regarding to yourself. Um, what is your current area of research right oh, now? Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a quite wide area of research, but uh, recently I have uh, been very interested in the uh game design uh which you this uh, uh uh prayers uh, emotion for example the prayer of uh, playing games or uh, some experience prayer feels some emotion so in that case uh yeah we will uh sometimes change the level of this uh, stages or sometimes change the behavior of artificial intelligence and so on. So what we say in Japanese, uh, omotenashi. So mm-hmm. the once uh, prayer is uh, uh, quite mature, we will uh, prepare the stage which is quite difficult and uh, which they want to challenge. And, and uh, if the novice prayer come to the stages, we want to uh, prepare the stages which is suitable uh, difficulty for the prayers. That is my uh, research right now. So yeah, this research have an aspect of the uh, biomechanical sensor sometimes, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, the neurosensor, and mm-hmm. uh, adjustment of uh, AI, and also the how to generate uh, the assets. So the there is uh, many things to do, so I uh, trying to yeah develop these types of uh, system and the researches with my students. Mm. Okay, I personally know that you have a number mm-hmm. of graduate students. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Where you're helping them with a lot of the projects, so you have um, a lot of research in different areas. Um, so I think that is it for the questions today. Thank you very much, Mr. Koji, mm-hmm. um, for, for, enjo- uh, for joining us at BIDC um, webinar for 2022 as well. 
ก็สำหรับในวันนี้นะคะ,ะเราก็หมดแล้วนะคะสำหรับคำถาม Q&A ต่างๆนะคะแล้วก็สำหรับเนื้อหาที่อาจารย์อาจารย์โคจิได้ให้ไว้นะคะซึ่งวันนี้เนื้อหาเยอะมากจริงๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นถึง definition นะคะความหมายนะคะหรือว่าเนื้อหาจริงๆว่าอะไรที่มีความแตกต่างกันหรือว่าไม่ว่าจะเป็นวิธีวิเคราะห์ของอาจารย์เองนะคะที่ดึงความหมายของคำว่า play ขึ้นมานะคะว่าจริงๆแล้ว play คืออะไรนะคะแล้วในอนาคตเองเนี่ยเรายังไม่ไม่ไม่ได้ทราบร้อยเปอร์เซ็นว่าจริงๆแล้ว metaverse ออกมาในเวอร์ชันไหนนะคะก็น่าลุ้นกันต่อไปค่ะก็ในวันนี้นะคะหวันก็ขอขอบพระคุณทุกคนมากๆนะคะที่เข้ามาฟังแล้วก็ขอบคุณโอกาสนะคะที่ได้เข้ามาเป็น moderator ในวันนี้ด้วยค่ะ Thank you very much. ขอบคุณมากค่ะขอบคุณดรโคจิมิคามิและอาจารย์น้ำหวานมากๆเลยนะคะข้อมูลสัมมนาในวันนี้เป็นประโยชน์มากจริงๆค่ะหวังว่าทุกท่านค่ะจะได้ไอเดียในการปรับตัวเข้าสู่ Metaverse อย่างไรโดยที่ไม่ต้องเริ่มต้นจากศูนย์และก่อนที่ทุกท่านจะออกจากซูมนะคะรบกวนสแกน QR code ที่ขึ้นอยู่บนหน้าจอเพื่อประเมินผลการสัมมนาค่ะเพื่อที่ทางเราค่ะจะได้นําไปพัฒนาการจัดงานครั้งต่อไปให้ได้ประโยชน์กับทุกท่านมากยิ่งขึ้นค่ะขอขอบคุณหน่วยงานพันธมิตรที่ร่วมจัดโครงการ BIDC 2022ทั้งภาครัฐและ5สมาคมดิจิทัลคอนเทนต์ไทยนะคะท่านสามารถติดตามข้อมูลกิจกรรมของ BIDC ได้ทางเว็บไซต์และ Facebook ของโครงการแล้วพบกันใหม่สวัสดีค่ะ